Why do I have my mouth open all the time when I'm applying my eyeshadow? Like, I don't know. Hi everybody, welcome back. Welcome or welcome back, why not? Um, or welcome at all because nobody watches my videos, but you know, that's fine, I like doing my videos. I mean, here we are doing another look and today I'm taking the Serpentina palette by Kat Von D and um, today I'm going to try something with the golden one which is called Medusa and the black one which is called Ank. So um, these are the two ones that we're going to use today and we're starting off with Ank, the black one and um, we're going to apply this one in the crease which means it's going to be some sort of a smoky eye and um, in this case less is more so start off slow with the black one don't go in there like immediately all over the place we want to build up the color slowly so that's what we're going to do so I'm taking a quite small eyeshadow brush and um, I'm applying taking some of the black tapping off the this excess and uh, I'm trying normally starting off like around here that's my starting point for black shadow normally and I'm trying to you know dab on something and go a little bit more into the crease but I tend to go underneath the crease because I like to blend up and out the crease so a little bit more on the outside like here and that's everything that I apply at first taking a blending brush and I'm starting to blend like this. And as you can see, the black already goes everywhere, which is good because that's where we want. But you know, you don't have too much on so you can't rescue anything anymore. So blend, blend, blend. And this process might take a while because blending is a long process. People always kind of, you know, speed up the process and you don't see how much blending actually happens. But this might take more than 20 seconds. So I'm trying to blend up and out the crease. So I'm kind of doing the little strokes up and out. So as you can see, it's actually blending quite nice. And we didn't apply a lot of eyeshadow. That's the point that I'm making. I didn't apply much and it still blends very in a very big area. So I think I've blended this one good enough. So I'm taking maybe a bit more of the black. I'm going into the same region again on the side and slowly on the crease again with the blending brush and blend 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 and do this process can repeat the process as long as you need to until you're satisfied with the look so um, as you can see um, I, I'll show you the pan again it looks I don't know if you can see but there's some glitter effect in it but if you look at my eye no glitter anymore so that's I think one downside to the to the shadow do you know it just no I didn't so we're going to apply some more black later but now we're going to focus on the center of the lid which is gold so we need some sort of different eyeshadow brush and um, I think I'm gonna take one that's not too big but not too small as well, which I guess is this one. So it's kind of a longer one and uh, not too firm. And I'm taking the golden eyeshadow, which is called Medusa, loading up the brush and I'm applying the gold one in the center that I kind of kept clean right now. And boom! gold and I love the gold it's super intense and I like that it's not a yellow gold yellow based gold you see a lot of yellow toned gold shadows and it's not that I don't like them but it's kind of overflowing and I would love to see something that's more white toned and that's what this actually is why do I have my mouth open all the time when I'm applying my eyeshadow like I don't know Okay, so I think I have the gold down. Now we're gonna go in with the black again and really deepen the crease. Whoa, a giant wasp just smashed against my window. Now we're gonna go underneath to the low lash line again with the same eyeshadow brush. It's kind of, a, you know, like a flat brush. Can you see that? And uh, I'm taking like the tip of it and I'm going underneath like here. Kind of connecting on the side and bringing in two-thirds of the way to the inner corner. So we're at that and again blend. Blend till you can't blend anymore. Ooh, there's a lot of fallout as you can see. We're gonna clean that up later. Ooh, we need to blink. So as you can see I have a lot of fallout going on down there so I'm taking concealer and cleaning that up. Be right back. 
Whoa, okay, so I stared at myself for a long time, can't see anything, so but that's mostly the eyeshadow look. So let's take some eyeliner. I'm taking this one by Catrice, it's called Sound of Silence. It's a gel eye pencil, and it's a it's actually a limited edition, so I don't know if you can get it anymore. But this is one of the best golden eyeliners I ever had. So if you can get your hands on this one, try it. I'm going to highlight the inner corner and the you know, the waterline, I wasn't thinking of. So I'm starting off with the inner corner. Here we have that. I think that looks quite good. And now it's time for some mascara. I'm taking the Fault Life Architect Mascara by L'Oreal Paris and I'm coating my top and bottom lashes. So here we are with the eyes. I think that looks quite nice. Maybe dusting away a little more of the accent. It really, the black one does like have a lot of fallout. <sighs> I have to say, if I could choose a black favorite eyeshadow, it wouldn't be this one. Lots of fallout, the glitter is not visible, and I feel like it's a little bit blue-ish. But maybe that's just me. I don't know. Okay, so, on to the rest of the face. I prefer a kind of more white-based. Um, highlighter with this one. So I'm taking the Shimmer Brick Radiant by Makeup Revolution and it's uh, the most up one. It looks slightly golden but it's actually quite nice one and since I don't have a brush that's small enough to go in there I'm taking just my ring finger and applying this on the high points of my cheeks, brow bone area. I'm going to contour with my Hoola Bronzer by Benefit and I'm just applying it in general places like around here. Don't forget to blend well, that's the key point with contouring. Okay, and last step is lips. Since this look is very eye dominant, I would recommend a more uh, natural lip, which means maybe a clear gloss or a nude color if you have one. Actually, I can't find my new lip lipstick, it's kind of gone, but I have one, I can't find it, so we're going to use this clear gloss, which is great. Just apply it. Whoosh. Might smell like hazelnut. And here we are! So this is my golden hour look with the Serpentina palette. I hope you guys like this video. Uh, make sure you subscribe down below and um, or maybe around here maybe. And um, I'll see you all next time. Bye bye!